advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. You're looking for outside help. Exactly. The Senator says this issue is really over security's head anyways. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. Senator Bark paying for this? Yes, of course. Your fee. In his generosity, the Senator has promised to personally reward anyone who helps. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. Welcome, my friend. I'm Darmus Pollerance, a back player and information resource without equal. Nice to meet you. I'm the fastest blaster in the galaxy. I guess congratulations are in order. I wasn't aware that competition had been settled. Good for you. Sorry to hear about Vidu. He was a man of refined taste and a terrible card player. I'll truly miss him. Life is like Sabak. The trick is to quit while you're ahead and enjoy your winnings. Exactly how I'll spend my twilight years. I'll still be flying around this galaxy a hundred years from now. <laughs> I like your spirit, Captain. Sometimes I think I'm already too old for this business. Now, I know this isn't a social call. Corso says you have troubles, and I'm prepared to help. I want payback on a man named Skavik. Yes, Corso was equally emphatic about that. Having met Skavik, I understand completely. Skavik is well known in the galactic underworld. He's earned death sentences across the galaxy for everything from armed robbery to kidnapping. He's known to be in the Sith Empire's pocket, and he even cheats at cards. I'm happy to help you find him. If there's one thing I hate, it's a card cheat. In my book, if you can only win by cheating, you shouldn't be playing the game at all. As soon as Corso mentioned Skavik's name, I alerted all my best informants. I'm getting some interesting leads. What did I tell you, Captain? Darmus can find out anything. We'll have Skavik in no time. Let's hear Darmus' brilliant advice first. I don't offer advice, Captain. Only information. What you do with it is up to you. Skavik recently used the services of a data slicer named Kixie in the Migrant Merchant's Guild headquarters. Quite talented, I hear. I'll say this. The man has a way with women. I don't think it's a romantic relationship. Skavik doesn't convert with aliens. Even near humans like Kixie. Kixie might be able to help you flush Skavik out of hiding. Be careful, though. The Guild is well armed and doesn't like outsiders. Excuse me, but I notice some delightful young ladies in desperate need of attention. Duty calls. So, how about that war, huh, Captain? You think the Republic will stop hiding behind the Treaty of Corson and admit they want the Empire wiped out? It doesn't sit right negotiating with people who want every man, woman, and kid dead. 
I'll kill the whole Empire myself if I have to. Then me and Sergeant Boom Boom will be right there with you, Captain. I joined the Peace Brigade when I was 14. I know what a world looks like when the Empire's done with it. What's that? A bunch of do-gooders? The Brigade's a relief organization. Go into worlds abandoned by the Treaty of Coruscant, help people displaced by the Empire. I was a kid looking for an adventure. After two months... Let's just say there are no kids in war zones. Right out of picture. In accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Barks Page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. Where can I find the shipment? Look, I don't work for him. If you want that information, we're gonna have to come to an understanding. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? Now that you mention it... He didn't explain anything about the chips. I'm not surprised. These political types like to gloss over details. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for senators. Those chips must be worth a pile of credits. The Migrant Merchants Guild wouldn't have stolen them otherwise. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. That sounds like the right thing to do. It's the only thing to do. Find the chips and get out of the Guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. They're having shootouts in the street? And here I thought Corson wouldn't be any fun. Right behind you, Captain. Cut power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn, Senator Kale said you need backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. They'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. Pull your men back, Captain. Let me handle the criminals. It's not that simple. They came here with a plan. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. No telling how many will die. Sure, the Senate Tower is a little gaudy. That's no reason to burn it down. Who are you? Ah, oh, forget it. Don't care. The gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. Get enough terminals, we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there.
better? Oh, oh. 